I can't believe my agent signed me up for this gig in my hometown. I haven't been back here in ages, and now all of a sudden I'm the main act of the holiday extravaganza. Just give it a chance. Performing in your hometown's a great look for you. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> um, hello? Excuse me? Can I get some service over here? I'm the headlining singer for the event. You know, kind of a big deal. So could someone, like, talk to me or something? What's going on here? I didn't come here for nothing, you know. Ugh, someone's coming over. Finally, some communication. Wait. No way. You're the director of the 50th annual holiday extravaganza? I haven't seen you since we were kids. I see the rest of your body caught up with those noodle arms you used to have back in grade school. <laughs> but your smile is still exactly the same. <laughs> um. So anyway... How did someone like you get put in charge of this show? I remember how you and I used to come to the extravaganza every year, and we would just laugh at Miss Betty and that horrible holiday medley she would sing. Like nails on a chalkboard, that lady was. <laughs> and the decorations, the whole thing was just so cheesy. So why would you want to be a part of that? This year's going to be different, huh? Okay, well, I guess I'll be the judge of that. It's just, all this holiday stuff is just so freaking tacky. I told my agent I wanted something classy and sexy for the end of the year. Maybe like a New Year's performance or something like that. And what does he go and do? He books me for this rinky-dink holiday show in the one place I vowed to never return to. I've toured all over the world and the only place they could think to put me was here. Who even requested this? Y you did? You specifically requested me? What are you, some kind of crazed fan or something? <laughs> you just really like my singing? <laughs> really? I, I mean, of, of course you do. I'm the voice of a generation. How could you not? <laughs> Um, but still, thanks. So, I don't expect a little hometown director like you to understand how a class performer like me likes to be treated backstage, but I have a very specific set of demands. I want seven bottles of water in my dressing room, but I also want there to be tea. Yes, green tea. I want there to also be a TV playing my favorite movie, which is... Yeah, that's the one. And finally, I'd like there to be chocolate bars, but only milk chocolate because... Right. Because I hate white and dark chocolate. <laughs> you really remember that much about me? Even all those little preferences? I know we were friends when we were kids. Best friends, even. But I don't know. I didn't... I didn't think you'd remember me. Especially after the way I left. Town Scout gave me an offer, and it was too good to pass up. I didn't think it meant cutting everyone off. I mean... I never even got to... I never even got to curse out my chorus teacher. She said I wouldn't be a singer. Well, look at me now, am I right? <laughs> anyway, what's the plan for this show? It's getting dark and it's cold out here, and I'm getting kind of impatient. No, I don't want any cocoa. Another tacky thing for a tacky season. They've got candy canes and whipped cream? Okay, fine. Just one cup. Only because I'm cold. <sighs> what are you talking about? I never liked the holidays. I always thought it was cringy. The whole thing. Well, you must be remembering our childhood wrong if you thought that seeing little snowmen and little red bows everywhere would make me smile. I know we went to this stupid show every year together, but 
I was just doing you a favor. Yeah. It was just for you. I felt bad for you as all no one else wanted to go with you, so I went out of pity. Yeah. Stop changing the subject. Anyway, let's go over the plan for the show already. My time is very valuable. Oh, obviously, I'm starting off in the center, but where am I moving to? What's my stage direction? Come on, director. And why is it so dark up here? Shouldn't there be, like, lights or something? <laughs> You're saving them for the finale? Okay, let me guess. I'm gonna sing, and then just as I finish the last song, all the lights are gonna turn on right at the same time, and it's gonna be a Christmas miracle. Did I get that right? Uh, of course I did. See? Predictable holidays being predictable. <laughs> I'm not being a Scrooge. I just don't care for the holidays. Nothing good ever happens to me around this time of year. Now that I'm a singer, I don't even get time off. The holidays for the entertainment industry is just another big payday. Oh, but the holidays are supposed to be about togetherness, right? <laughs> and who do I get to be together with, huh? No one. Just me, on another tour bus, or a plane, or doing something. Just another holiday concert in another holiday village. Hell, my agent didn't even ask me what I'd like to do for the holidays. They didn't even ask me what I wanted for Christmas. They just didn't care about what I wanted. Just like when they took me out of this place all those years ago. They just scouted me and then... It was just around this time that year. Just as I was auditioning for this stupid holiday extravaganza. How was I supposed to know that there'd be a talent scout in the judges panel? If I had known that an agency was going to make me leave before the holidays, if I knew that I wasn't going to be able to say goodbye to everyone, then... <sighs> Maybe I wouldn't have tried out for the stupid show in the first place. So... Sorry if I'm not super thrilled to be back at the same show that made me hate the holidays. But whatever, I, I guess I'm glad to see you again, at least. Seeing a familiar face always makes me feel better. Especially when it's you. Um, <clears throat> so... I'll sing my song and then move to the side to show the holiday village and all the lights will come on. Everyone is happy and the holidays are saved. Happily ever after. Then we all come out and take a bow and I go and stay in a hotel or something with a bottle of wine and whatever is on TV until my next flight out of here. No, I didn't make plans to stay for the holidays. Why would I? There's nothing here for me anymore, anyway. Well, yeah, you're still here. I, I guess that's something. Well, okay, I think I got the gist of everything. We'll do a sound check when it gets closer to the day, and I know the layout of the place since I've lived here pretty much my entire life, so... No need to show me around. Thanks for the run through. I guess I'll see you then. Hmm? What? You want to show me something? I just said you don't have to show me around. I've lived here my entire life. You know that. And I thought it, I thought we already went through everything for the show. Well, no, we didn't test the lights, but... What's the big deal? It's not like it's going to change. <sighs> Fine, I guess I'll humor you, big shot director. <laughs> All right. Just tell me when to open my eyes. <gasps> wow. It's just... The village is so much bigger and brighter than I remembered. And the tree, it's, it's huge this year. What's with all the ornaments on it? <laughs> no way. You had everyone in town donate an ornament to the tree? How'd you manage to swing that? Talk about dedication. 
that's that's really nice. Look closer? I don't know how much closer I can look. It's still just a tree. <laughs> Wait, are those our matching ornaments from art class? Where even were these? <laughs> how are they not destroyed? Oh, oh, right. Now that you mention it, I do see the parts where you glued them together. <laughs> wow, you must be some kind of holiday angel or something to pull all that off. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I guess I am still part of this little old town, no matter how far I go. Uh, I missed you too. Being away from this town is just really lonely, and I'd be lying if I said that seeing you didn't make things a little bit better. The holidays haven't been the same without you. Or this stupid little town. <laughs> Thanks for finally bringing me home. Yes, I'd, I'd love to stay with you for the holidays. It seems like you and I have some catching up to do.